Welcome to Biology at Ease. In this video, I'll be explaining chromatin, chromosomes and chromatid. So before beginning with these three topics, let me first give you a basic information about the cell, cell division and DNA. As we all know that cell is the fundamental unit of life. It contains an oval or spherical structure known as nucleus. This nucleus contains a double helical structure called DNA. DNA carries the genetic information of the cell. It is known as the blueprint of life because it is responsible for the survival, growth and reproduction of organisms. The cell by a process called cell division replicates its DNA and other components and eventually divides to form two new daughter cells. The sequence of events involving the preparation of cell for the process of cell division and the cell division process leading to the formation of two new daughter cells is known as cell cycle. Cell cycle consists of two phases, interphase and emphase. Interphase is that phase of cell cycle during which the cell prepares itself for cell division process while M phase is the phase when actual cell division takes place. M phase consists of four subphases prophase, metaphase, anaphase and telophase. So that is all about the introduction part. Now let's come to our topics chromatin, chromosomes and chromatids. So let's start with chromatin. Chromatin are the complex macromolecules present inside the nucleus of a cell. They consist of DNA and proteins. The primary proteins of chromatin are known as histones. These histones are arranged in a unit of 8 molecules forming histone octamer. So these are your histone octamers inside the nucleus of the cell consisting of 8 histone molecules. The DNA being a coiled structure wraps around the histone molecules forming a structure called nucleosome. So histone molecules inside the histone octamer structure along with the DNA forms nucleosome. The repeated units of nucleosome inside the nucleus of the cell forms chromatin material. So these are your nucleosomes in the nucleus of the cell and this whole structure is known as chromatin material. So what are chromatins? Chromatin are the complex macromolecules present inside the nucleus of a cell consisting of DNA and histone proteins. So this structure is known as chromatin. During cell division, the chromatin gets thickened and condensed and is known as chromosome. So this structure which is known as chromatin during cell division gets condensed to form chromosome. The basic idea behind the condensation of chromatin material to form chromosome is to allow easy replication of DNA. So let's differentiate between chromatin and chromosomes. What are chromatin? Chromatin are the macromolecules present inside the nucleus of the cell containing DNA and histone proteins or they are the repeated nucleosome structures present inside the nucleus of the cell. What is chromosome? Thickened or condensed chromatin formed during cell division is known as chromosome. So this is our condensed chromatin material or chromosome. After replication of DNA, a copy of chromosome gets attached to it at a region called centromere. So this strand of the chromosome is identical to this strand. Similarly, these two strands are identical to each other. One half of the identical strand of a replicated chromosome is known as chromatid. So let me draw it again. This is your chromosome and this is the replicated chromosome attached at the centromere. One half of the two strands of a replicated chromosome is known as chromatid. So these all are chromatids. Since this chromatid is identical to this chromatid, therefore these two are known as sister chromatids. Similarly, these two are the sister chromatids. So let's revise everything. DNA are the double helical structure present inside the nucleus of the cell. DNA along with the histone proteins forms complex structures known as chromatin. Chromatin on condensation during the cell division forms chromosome and 
one half of the single strand of a replicated chromosome is known as chromatid. So that's all for this video. I hope you like the content. For more such videos, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching.